First at four, we are tracking that breaking news out of Providence. It is official. Friars head coach Ed Cooley is leaving Providence College and heading to Georgetown. The announcement comes after weeks of speculation that Cooley was preparing to take a new job. We have live team coverage tonight. Matt Paddock has reaction from students upset over the news. But first, sports director Maury Hirsch Gordon is live at PC, where the athletic director is set to speak to the media at any moment now. Maury? Yeah, Kim and Ted, that's right. We are here surrounded by local media in the lobby of the Ruane Practice Development Center here on PC's campus. Uh, however, uh, it, it will be a day that will long be remembered here on this campus. Ed Cooley, the Providence native, is leaving his hometown school, leaving Providence, going to the Big East Conference to Georgetown University. The Hoyas will, will take Cooley and it will be the first time in Big East history that a coach leaves one school, goes to another within the conference. We will have Steve Napolillo, athletic director, up here shortly, and we will be streaming it live on WPRI.com. For more, we will have coverage coming up later on in this 4 o'clock hour. Matt Paddock speaking to some students here on campus this afternoon and joins us now live with the latest. Matt. Yeah, well, Maury, students have been dealing with a bunch of different emotions throughout the day, particularly over the past few hours, especially once that news of Ed Cooley leaving PC broke headlines. Now, we do know that students here at PC said they are grateful for Cooley, but more so, they're confused and hurt by his decision to not only leave PC, but to head over to a Big East rival. Thank you for all that you have done. However, this moment will not be forgotten. It's been a roller coaster of a day for students on Providence College campus. Starting their morning to the news that Cooley's East Greenwich home was on the market. I think the rumors had been going around for months and it's tough to see it finally coming to probably the truth. While every student we spoke to was grateful for what Cooley had done for this program, school and community. He just really, really cares about all the students here. So I think that him being there really amplified that for us. He turned this program around. I just would have like to see uh, a better way out, a better way to handle it. Cooley has always been a king of words. His speeches would leave players and fans ready to run through a wall for the program. There's also frustration, anger that comes a part of it as well. But that love for some turning to a sense of betrayal. It just feels like he turned against us. You know, his whole thing is the us, we together, family friars. And he's been preaching that for however uh, long he's been here, like 20 years, something like that. And it feels like he kind of threw it all out the window. This is all we're going to remember, you know, and I think when he comes next year, he's going to he's going to uh, expect maybe applause, maybe, you know, the fans to be excited to see him. And I, I personally don't think that's going to be the case for others like Michael Fitzpatrick. Their sights already shifted, looking to bring in another familiar face for the Friars. Cooley, you built the foundation for the last 13 years. You're a great guy. But see you later, it's Rick Pitino time, Providence College Friars, the Don of the Dunk is back, baby. Come on, let's go, Rick. Well, the bad news for uh, Michael Fitzpatrick there is that ESPN is reporting. Rick Pitino has also signed with another school in the Big East, that's St. John's. But reporting live in Providence, Matt Paddock, 12 News.